Hey guys, welcome back to DCS World. I'm Spud, as always. And today we have another awesome tip for upping your performance in DCS World, and most importantly, the consistency of your performance in-game. Ever since upgrading my PC to an i9-14900K CPU and RTX 4090 GPU, I have been extremely frustrated with DCS World's performance, and in particular, the consistency of that performance, which seemed to dip far below that of my old PC and was extremely baffling. While excluding DCS World from antivirus did a lot to help the problem, it did not solve it entirely, and I was still seeing a lot of inconsistency. Sometimes DCS would perform amazingly, and sometimes it would be a stuttery, awful mess. This led me down the rabbit hole of researching gaming performance with the Intel i9-14900K, which then led me to disabling my E-cores or efficiency cores through my BIOS. And like magic, all of the performance issues DCS World was having were completely and totally solved within the blink of an eye. However, like the meme, we pay for whole runway, we use whole runway, I pay for whole CPU, I use whole CPU, popped into my head and I wanted to find a way to not artificially limit my CPU and have less power for background actions I need while running and flying in DCS, such as Nvidia Shadowplay, SRS, Chrome Tabs, etc, etc, while keeping DCS roll firmly off of my e-cores. This, that's where Process Lasso comes in, an awesome little program that lets you easily and quickly on the fly ensure DCS is running on your P cores or performance cores. So let's take a look at how we can set up Process Lasso to get the most out of DCS World or any other game or application you may be using. Alright guys, setting up and installing Process Lasso is a super simple and easy process. First, all we need to do is go to the Process Lasso website here, click on the free download button right there to download the setup.exe file. I will of course have a link pinned in the comment section down below and in the description of this video for the website here. For the vast majority of you guys out there, you really just need the free version of Process Lasso, but if you want to support the devs or you want to do something a little bit more complex through Process Lasso, you might want to go with the pro version here. So we can go ahead and close Chrome at this point. We'll open our file explorer, go to our downloads, and let's run the Process Lasso setup exe file. I'm just going to install this right here in front of you guys live because it takes no time at all to download and install this pretty awesome little program. So we'll close the file explorer and now we are here on Process Lasso. Setting things up is super simple and easy. First thing we want to do is go to the file tab in the top left there, config profile, and you want to create a new configuration profile for yourself. This is a great way to save different settings and options in different profiles so that way you can choose the appropriate profile for say playing in DCS or playing Call of Duty or Cyberpunk 2077 and then moving over and doing some video editing or some audio editing, things of that nature. So we'll call this profile DCS and we'll hit OK. The second thing we're going to do is go up to the main tab up in the top left there and I'm going to uncheck the pro balance option there. Through my research on various threads and forums and things like that, I've seen that a lot of people agree that the uh, pro balance option there can interfere with background applications that you may need to use while actually flying in DCS world, such as SRS or NVIDIA Shadowplay or OBS or um, LOT ATC or anything else you might need to be running in the background for you. Next thing we need to do, is just open up DCS World or whatever game or application you want to actually change settings for. This is going to be the easiest way to do it is just to open up that application. There are other ways you can kind of force the uh, program to adjust what uh, cores that application is going to run on, but the easiest way is just to run that application. 
So it looks like DCS rolls starting up pretty quickly for us here, so that's good. We'll just Alt-Tab back to process lasso, fantastic. And in order to find the DCS world process, rather than going through all the processes listed on the All Processes tab of everything that is currently running on our PC, I would go to the Active Processes, and this is where you're going to find things like games that are running or like uh, Adobe Premiere video editing software, OBS, things like that. All we need to do now is click on the DCS.exe option there. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go down to CPU Affinity. I'm going to go over to the right here to the Always option and I'm going to select the Select CPU Affinity option right there. And then the easiest way to say set DCS rule to all of your performance cores as opposed to your efficiency cores is just to press on the P cores button right here. We can see that automatically unchecks all of our E cores and sets CPU P cores zero through seven automatically there. Hit okay to save it. And then another thing that I like to do to really increase the performance of DCS world as well using process lasso is to right click on the dcs.exe process again, go to CPU priority, go to always, and then go to high. Setting DCS world CPU priority to high by default is very important. So that way uh, the PC doesn't try to prioritize something over the top of DCS world, like say running an antivirus scan or something of that nature while you're in game actually flying in DCS world. So guys, it really is that simple and that easy to get a massive bump in not just the performance of DCS World, but in my opinion, even more important, the consistency of that performance in DCS World. Because I was about to rip my hair out after building this new PC and thinking that I should be seeing much, much better performance than I am, and then getting those gains from trying different things, and then the next time I play DCS, it's back to a stuttery mess. And this has completely fixed that for me, while also being able to have the rest of my CPU still able to run those background tasks as well. So I hope this video helps you out, guys. And if you did like the video, please leave it a like and a subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Fly safe out there, guys, and enjoy this beautiful game.